Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS Online video tutorial series. My name is Sean. Today we're going to look at uh, a couple of new features for adding uh, Facebook Connect uh, social plugins to your website. Um, Facebook uh, offers a, a whole, uh, a whole uh, API to allow uh, uh, website developers to add Facebook functionality to their website. Um, and uh, the latest thing that they've added are some very easy to use social plugins. And uh, in that they're pretty easy to use anyways, um, um, I've added them to uh, PSD to CSS Online so that all you have to do is is draw your web page the way you want. Just draw the design of the way you'd like your web page to look. Um, and draw a box where you want, for example, a, a, a Facebook like button to show up, or a recommendations box, uh, or a comments box, and uh, and upload your Photoshop file. Save it that way. Upload the Photoshop file to PSD to see this online, and uh, we'll generate all the code for you. We'll even go in, reach into Facebook and, and create a, a, applic a de application developer for you, um, and give you an application developer ID so that uh, you don't have to worry about doing any of that. Um, so. Uh, here, let's, let's see how it works. So here's a pretty straightforward and simple uh, um, design, web page design. Um, got the header up here. Uh, anything in PSD to CSS Online, the way it works is for the different layers in your Photoshop file, um, if you name the layers right with some special names that uh, PSD to CSS Online understands, um, that's what will make PSD to CSS Online generate the special code for you. Um, there's a handful of them in this file. We've got a video here. Um, so there's some of the video features there. Um, hopefully, possibly you're watching this video in this page in the video box. Um, underscore text is going to, we're going to put some text here. Uh, but the new one, the one that I want to show you is this, underscore FB comments. It's this big red box here. So uh, um, I just drew a box for where I want the comments to show up. Named it underscore FB comments. And, uh, and that's all I had to do. So I saved my Photoshop file. And then we'll go to PSD to CSS Online. We will upload the Photoshop file, and right now, uh, PSD to CSS Online is uh, tearing apart that file and reading all the layer names and uh, figuring out what it needs to do based on all the different instructions and the layer names. For the Facebook uh, stuff, in this case Facebook comments, um, it's actually going to call Facebook and generate a uh, programmatically for you. Uh, it'll generate a Facebook appli dev application developer ID. Um, and uh, and use the uh, the credentials that are generated um, to uh, finish the uh, the conversion. So one thing it does need to do though is uh, is it uh, we need to get Facebook wants to get your permission for that. So uh, so what happens because of these Facebook features in this design? It says Facebook features cool. Let's uh, set you up with a Facebook application ID calling Facebook. So we did the the PSD, PSD to CSS online called Facebook. And uh, it drew this for us. Allow PSD to CSS Online to integrate Facebook functionality for you. You just click OK. So now uh, Facebook is generating a new application uh, developer ID for you, specifically just for you, uh, or for me, I guess, right now. Um, but this will work every time you make a new page at PSD to CSS Online that includes Facebook functionality. Um, you can use the, uh, the application ID that just is being generated for you right now or you can go and, and go through the whole process and actually make your own uh, developer uh, um, ID uh, on Facebook. Um, it's not hard. There's a number of questions to answer. And, uh, and actually, you get some more functionality. You get some extra stuff that you can do um, and add to your website if you, if you use your own. The one that I generate here is, is sufficient. It works. Um, but, uh, but you might want to use your own. But this, this is pretty easy. I didn't have to even go to the Facebook website, as you see. So now we can preview the page. It's all done. Uh, all I did is take the Photoshop file, uploaded it, it cranked on it for a while, and now we can uh, preview it. And uh, here's the web page that was totally generated just now based on the, on uh, this uh, based on this drawing right here, this PSD file. Here's the text area that we mentioned. Here's uh, the video that's just the placeholder video. For, probably you're watching this on the, on the final page for that. But down here is the interesting part. See all this code, and you can see my picture and and uh, a Facebook like button and. Uh, and a place to leave a comment. All the code for this was all generated um, by PSD to CSS Online and Facebook together uh, and put into the web page. And I didn't have to actually write a line of code at all. So the neatest thing here now, suppose this is your, uh, suppose this is your website and you've got people visiting and, uh, and they're excited about your website. And they want to leave a comment and they want to say, 
Wow, this is so cool. Great sight. And uh, when they leave this comment, not only will it leave a comment like you'd expect on this page, but because this checks box right here was checked, post comment to my Facebook profile, back here on my Facebook profile right now, if I update it, you can see, wow, this is so cool, great site. That's the comment I just left. And here's a link to the page that was just generated. So anybody who visits your site and leaves a comment, if they want to, they, it'll also update their Facebook uh, uh, stream. And so I don't, probably don't have to explain that that just means lots more people are going to hear about your site and they're going to hear about it from friends of theirs as opposed to some random advertisement off on the edge of some page that, you know, who knows how that got there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's all that happened. I didn't have to write a line of code. Um, the like button works in the same way. You can see, uh, uh, let's see, one person likes this. Oh, I see, I unliked it. So there, I liked it now. There's my picture. If there was a whole bunch of my friends had visited this page and all liked it, I would see all their pictures here. Um, of course, that shows up on my page over here, too. Uh, I think it shows up a little lower. Where is it? Down here somewhere. Sean likes Facebook comments. Um, so, yeah. So that's how that worked. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Here's the... Here's uh, the, Let's see. This is the page as it exists in the tutorial. Um, here I've just made a couple of minor modifications. I've actually put the text that is interesting in there. Um, it's got an actual URL. The uh, the comments work by uh, they know what page they live in, so you don't even have to tell the comments widget um, where it is or give it any kind of special code. It knows where it is and, and keeps kind of marries the uh, the comments for this page up with the the comment widget in this page. So um, so there you go. That's uh, that how that's how that works. Uh, there's also FB like underscore FB like and underscore FB recommendations. They both work too. They're all turned on today. Uh, give them a try. I'll be making some more uh, demonstrations of those. This is just the first one that I made. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to say. Uh, so, so that's all well and good. We looked at how uh, how we can preview this and see it running on on my server on, on the uh, PSD to CSS online server. But it's only going to be there for 24 hours. What you want to do now is download the zip file with all of that code that was generated. So you can see that uh, it downloads the zip file. All that code was in fact generated. Here's a zip file. And this is everything that was generated by PSD to CSS Online for us just now. There's all the, the images that go in there. There's my video stuff. That was all you know, one, of the, one of the features that I took advantage of there. Um, uh, so yeah, we can look inside uh, we can look inside the code that was generated. Well, how much time do I have? Seven minutes? We can look and see what was generated, view the page source. Oh, this is a good idea. So this was the code that was generated. Um, as you can see, it's it's uh, very well formatted. Um, it's extremely well commented. Um, every div uh, has has a comment on it. Anything that has any kind of special code has a comment on it. Um, for Facebook comments, this is the line right here that makes Facebook comments, uh, one of the lines that makes Facebook comments work. There's some, there's, uh, so, some information there for you. Um, here's all the information, uh, uh, all the code for actually calling into Facebook and making and uh, getting the Facebook SDK going on your page. Um, this is all the code down here, and this is some stuff that I had generated for you. Um, the, in, the important thing here is that um, when, when we had PSD to CSS Online make your Facebook application for you, um, it makes, specifically, it makes the application name and the application ID number which is fine, anybody can see that, you can leave it in your code here. But it also makes this secret application key right here. And uh, you don't want to leave that inside your code here. You want to cut and paste this, you know, write it down somewhere. It's a key that you, uh, if you plan on using this application, it's a key that uh, that you can use in the future to add more Facebook functionality, It's but it's your secret. It's how you uh, authenticate with Facebook um, for other kinds of features, not this particular one. Uh, and so I, I wrote a comment. Important, remove that at least your se secret application key from this file. So you would just cut and paste this out and get, uh, just get that out of there. But uh, but yeah, other than that, that's it. That's uh, how easy it is to make a, some uh, some really cool Facebook features in your web page without writing any code. So thanks. <laughs>